What's up guys, how you doing today? It's your boy Colin Osborne. And in this video, we're gonna be talking to you about how to set up an e-commerce store today in probably less than an hour or so. And the system we're gonna be using is specifically a system that I've been using for years and years and years, and it's relatively new to the market, but I would consider one of the more robust, powerful systems out there. And it's really been intuitive and helps me be able to launch products, launch websites, launch businesses, and different things of those nature. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna hop a computer and if you stay tuned i'm going to show you exactly how to set up an e-commerce store in less than an hour or so so let's get started and before we get started actually make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this video and um, i would really love to have the support and it really helped me uh, further the, to grow this channel anyways so let's hop in this computer and i'll show you exactly how it's done all right so i have if you go to printful it's really easy to sign up if you just have a google account it takes like a couple seconds but um essentially I went on here and I just created a bunch of different products. I'm going to show you exactly how I created these products. And it's really, really simple. All you got to do is one, have an idea and be able to drag and drop. It's very simple. So once you've logged in, I'm not going to show you to do that. It's real simple. Go to the product catalog section. Let's go to all products. And then let's click on men's clothing. Flag on next. Is there some sweaties? Let's do some sweatpants. All right, so we're doing sweatpants. We're gonna white and black sweatpants. See, it looks good on blue too. So you create the product template. Step one, create product template. And this, what we're doing is we're embedding into Printful, hey, this is the type of clothing I want you to put logos and stuff on. Probably the best way to scrap that. Um, let's just put, all of the different sizes on we don't want to not include we want to include all certain all types of people make sure that we have that and we'll also do i think that looks carbon gray it sounds pretty cool all right now we're going to upload let's see exactly where it's going to be placed i don't really like i don't like the i don't like that no we're not putting it there pocket yeah right on the right ass cheek man that's front right leg is there is there does it make sense to have it there i don't know i mean i guess let's see how much we can make it Real simple though. Yeah. Um let's see if they give us any other No, nah, we don't need to add that, but I'll take that out. All right, so we'll just do that. You can add text if you want to. Let's just say I wanna do America. Oh, I'm done. I actually want an upper eight. That was my football number in high school and college. Yeah, that looks sexy. All right. This is an American flag store outfit, but I was just wanting to. Let's actually, I'm also going to add the flag there because maybe we could have a flag and a number. All right, bet. All right, so that's going to be my logo. If you don't like it, I mean, my design, if you don't like it, I don't really care. All right, so we have now created the product. Now we're going to insert this product into the store so we have all the colors and sizes i'm just going to choose basic mock-ups and a lot of times i've realized they don't necessarily show you the mock-ups when you do basic mock-ups but what i like to do is you no, excuse me it wasn't that 
Let's choose this and then uh, I gotta go. I gotta go back out of here. Hold up. Before I add download mockups, that's what it is. So then you could choose the mockups and there's download them. And you can upload them back to a uh, high level. So then what you can do is you can choose the different designs. I personally don't like to have the dude in the, in it. So I don't really want that, but this right here is cool. Just like show me design. Let's just see what these, what, the, what it looks like. So I'm going to download that. And I might just do like number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that'll it'll just be like the the ten collection, or, you know, something like I don't know. You can really do whatever you want with this, which is sick. All right, so I'm gonna go back to add, go to the store, American flag store, and then proceed to mock-ups, just choose basic mock-ups. And they're gonna put these in here. I just clicked these right here because it's a little bit easier. Let's do American flag number eight fleece pants. Maybe joggers. If they're not joggers, then it is what it is. Now what I would do is I would make sure to go and test, I'm gonna. I, I plan on buying all of my products first before I before I sell them. But test them out first. Buy them. Make sure you feel good, looks good, before you start selling them. So you're not selling a crap product. And then there's also a lot of good reviews as well. So right here is where you're able to increase or decrease the prices. Um, once again, I would say these are more boutique style clothing so it's very important to uh let's put this at the price to I mean, like 37 dollars for some pants but it's that's probably the only thing i'll say it's different is printful which is the only integration they have right now um is i would say it's a little bit more expensive than printify but i think the quality of the product is a lot better and the shipping times are better so if you build a brand, you could sell whatever you want on the, based off the price. Just keep that in mind. So we'll save that product, and now it's being pushed to the store. It takes for it to completely sync over. It does take a little time, um, but it does. It really does, it shouldn't take that long. Uh, let's say uh, if I give it maybe even. You know, like five minutes, it'll probably be synced in there. And you could also see these are all the stores that are synced. I mean, these are all the products that are synced to my store. So if I now go back out and then go to payments, there are the joggers right there. So in order to show the, um, and another thing I need to do is I need to upload all the other ones. But in order to show the joggers inside of the store, you got to make sure to go to the product sections and click include to inline to online store. Click save. I am not going to say that this is a perfect system because it is not. But what I will say is that they do provide some quality capabilities at the moment in order to set up and process a store. I think there's still a lot of updates and things that they can do, but hey, I'm not going to say it's not like they're not down point. At the, at, they, they have a lot of um, of growth to do, but right now I think it's pretty awesome where they're at. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to create a product description real quickly using chat GP Tizzle. I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but it's also important that you do it for SEO purpose. So I just copy the product info in there. Give me product title for American uh, title. Give me product description for American flag number eight. Give me product description for American flag number eight. Joggers and SEO titles and description as well as product URL. Remove Patriot, because I'm not trying to be, I'm not aligned with anything. I'm not, I'm just remove Patriot from verbiage. I just, you know, it's not what I'm trying to promote here. So yeah, that's a lot better.
All right, so you've got the then the handle. Wow. All right. So let's save that. It's probably still pushing it to the store. So, not sure if these got pushed yet. That would be kind of annoying if it didn't. And that's some of the things that I would just say. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit for them to push, but you'll be able to see it in the store, probably give it like a couple, because it's still sinking, so you got to give it a little bit more time. But, I'd say give this like six months from now and this will be just as good, if not better than Shopify, in my opinion. So hopefully this video was very, very helpful in getting your e-commerce store started, especially with a robust and amazing platform like Go High Level. Um, there's a lot of different capabilities that you can have with here, adding things to cart. You get to see it up here. Nice little cart button takes you to the cart. Um, and then the mobile section is also important. If you really like this video, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, definitely looking forward to um, just bringing out more marketing content for you guys. Uh, next video, we're going to be talking about creating YouTube thumbnails. I know someone was asking me about that, so I think it's very important to showcase how I do that. And, um, you know, we'll be able to uh, showcase that. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching and looking forward to the next video. Thanks. Bye.